Mormons are some of the nicest some people of the I've greats. ever met. Yep. They're the nicest people. And they're in the wackiest religion. Yep. <laughs> but they're the nicest folks. Five minutes later. Uh, but didn't you say that, um, I think you said this, that when you had a psychedelic experience, you kind of stopped being an atheist? Yeah, I was, I was an atheist. And then ayahuasca journey number three. Oh, I'm in the presence of God. Mm. I'm just in it now. And it's not, it's a, that's your central creation force that I experienced. Did you get a sense of what this whole thing is supposed to be? Like, what are we doing? Like, if, if there's a central creation force and you interact with it, like, what, is it, what does it want? What it, does it want from us? And what is it doing with, like, life? I don't think it's comprehensible mm. what the purpose is. I feel like there's some sort of trend um, in life and in, in, in the cosmos of things getting more complex. And, you know, I'm not the first person to ever point this out either. Um, but with human beings in particular, everything is about technological innovation and things becoming more and more complex and information being more and more accessible and being more and more connected with each other. It seems like a really, really obvious trend. And if you play that trend out, you know, a thousand years, a hundred thousand years, a million years, like where, where is that going? And is that going on all over the universe? And is that what God's doing? Is God all about this constant state of improvement that it goes on forever until you reach like literally like a God-like being? I couldn't make heads or tails of in terms of like we're supposed to. Well, if you think of amoebas, if you think of single-celled organisms, they eventually become multi-celled organisms. They they develop the ability to move around, and they they come on shore and they evolve and change. And this goes on forever and ever and ever. And then one day in 2022, they're us. That's what we are. We're the most advanced form that we're aware of of that thing. Mm -hmm. If that keeps going. Maybe that is what creates the universe itself. Maybe the universe is making itself through us. We're just in this amoeba stage, and we can't even comprehend it. To us, it's like, what are you talking about? We're going to change the world? Like, imagine an amoeba being born in the bottom of a volcano silo, you know, in the bottom of the ocean. Some I little, felt some, like an amoeba on, on 5 ma Yeah, well, you basically probably are. I think we probably all are a version of that in comparison to this ultimate thing that we're going to become. If, if we do keep evolving, if, if evolution is a real thing, and it did go from single-celled organisms to what we see now in human beings, if you just keep going, that should, that should get to some place of impossible energy and power and maybe the universe itself. Like, maybe that's what it's made out of. Maybe that's how we make things like stars and, and maybe the, the universe itself is born out of this. And we're just this really tiny stage, this amoeba-like stage that will ultimately become the God force of the universe. Maybe that's our ultimate transition between a physical being into this thing of energy and love and light and power and and in indifference in, in many ways to our own plights because it's it's necessary to achieve this purpose. Maybe all of our struggles, maybe all of our debates about things and trying to figure out what's white and what's wrong and whose philosophy is correct and whose behavior is correct. Maybe all of that is just trying to get us to that ultimate stage where we're going to be. And that's what happens everywhere in the universe. That's the universe creating itself everywhere, all over the place. When things get and they have a certain amount of troubles that they have to deal with, whether it's tribal invasions or super volcanoes and s figure it out, get to a point where you can become the next thing. And yeah. Then, and then I mean, on and on and yeah. on and on and on forever. Yeah. 